It was a picture perfect day for the sixth stage of the eighth annual tour of Hainan. Everybody was getting ready for what two teams had considered it's a short and sweet day. And while everybody was smearing the creams on and getting gloves ready and checking out the other teams, that happened to be the winning team, we were also hearing from Vitali Boots, the king of the mountain leader, with his plan for the day. On today and tomorrow's stage, it's going to be a difficult climb for everyone and not for me. And since the climbing starts very early, I'm going to put in an effort with an attack with my teammates. I hope that the other climbers can join us so that we can make it difficult for Tio Bas and to keep the Belkin team perhaps from winning. After leaving the beach town from Sanya, we ended up climbing almost right off the bat. We went along the beach for roughly 50 kilometers, then we went to the first mountain climb at 60 kilometers. We had two sprints as well, but our second mountain climb at 97.3 finished off our race practically with 115.6 kilometers. Asian Point's leader Liu Yiling on the line looking confident. The gun goes off, and everybody heads off kind of slowly. Nobody was really wanting to leave the beaches of the far south, but nevertheless, people are rolling out and looking forward to the climb. Maybe not. So again, the attacks were half-hearted, nothing really major. The locals went off every so often, but right after this tunnel, things changed immediately. From concrete to trees. We had two members of the CCC Polska team, and also in there was one of Vitali Butz's teammates, of course. King of the Mountain number one at 60 kilometers was run by Matthias Tasiak from CCC. The 300 meter hill wasn't enough to really provide a lot of damage to the sprinter's legs, and sprint number one had Maxim Averin from Atlas Personal coming across the line, with Mikhail Nokonento from Ukraine also coming across. After that, at 75 kilometers, a breakaway final formed. Right there's Dan Craven riding with a fever for the second day in a row. You'll see his efforts coming through later. But sprint number two was hard fought, with the exception of Dan off the back, with Jose Goncalves, who took third in the first sprint, and Jel Pungda from Champion Systems ended up taking second place. But the break continued on. They lost one rider, but run rider only, and as they continued up, climbing in elevation up to the King of the Mountain points at kilometer 97, David Bell de Garcia suddenly found himself in the company of yet another Champion Systems rider. Chris Butler had chased hard, caught the breakaway, and then was challenging for the King of the Mountain points. David Bell de Garcia still took it with Christopher Butler in second. However, our third place sprint rider ended up getting third place points in King of the Mountain. David and Chris took turns pounding each other's heads into the pavement as they were climbing their way up to a total of 335 meters. Here's Chris on the attack, chasing hard after David, who had just smacked him down. On and on they went, battling the smooth roads of the southern part of Hainan Island. However, all of this effort ended up costing David Belda Garcia later as he slid off the back on the way to the peloton, which was charging hard, trying to catch down Chris Butler. Chris was up and not letting anything stop him. He still continued driving towards the line with 20 kilometers to go. However, the peloton is not going to let anybody stop them with just two small hills, and Chris, try as he might, did not end up making it. He was caught with 13 kilometers to go. Prelan Euphony, and they've got downhill a plenty to take them all the way into Ujershan. Here it comes, green at the front, and there they are, 200 meters with more green. That looks like Lars Boom leading out the yellow jersey, Moreno Hoffland. They're coming around the line right now. Uphill sprint, boom! It is the yellow jersey of Moreno Hoffland taking it again. That was Lars Boom leading him out, and third was Christoph Schweizer from Baku. Rico Rogers, also from Baku, took fifth place as well. Two Belkins, two Bakus at the line. Yeah, in the beginning there was a lot of, lots of attacks again, and, uh, and uh, at the climb, just, just for the long climb, a small break went, and Mark Goose did a really good job on the climb. He held a steady pace, and so they didn't get too much time. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tio Boss was robbed, so then we decided to go in the sprint for me, mm -hmm. and the boys did it perfect for me again. Stage winner today, our yellow jersey winner as well. That is Moreno Hoffland. Second place, Lars Boom. 
third, Christoph Schweitzer. We've got a hard fought contest for Blue Jersey, but Leo Eling is still in first place right now. King of the Mountains is still on the shoulders of Vitali Boots. Again, another hard fought contest. Stay tuned for the next couple days. The points jersey is definitely on Moreno Hoffland. He'll be taking that one home almost certainly. And of course, yellow jersey. He's gaining points with every day and with his stage win, he got even more. General classification still shows Hoffland in first with Amorizon in second. However, Thomas Laser went back up to third. Keo Boss, being dropped today, slid backwards. Tomorrow's stage is going to be hard, hard, hard with our first climb and our first category one climb right off the bat. And I'm Sean Nagel. I'll be covering it for Cycling CN. Thanks for watching.